Well, hello, model fans. Welcome back to Watson's Models. Um, check out the jerry cans. I got a bunch of jerry cans in the shop, but they're all pretty much the same. They're all like, you know, mid 50s era and stuff like that. But uh, today, just gonna show you a couple, and then I'm gonna show you the. Uh, the 16th scale versions that a friend of mine is producing and they are awesome so anyhow no this is not a german jerry can looks like a german jerry can but this is actually swedish post-war uh can and uh you know it, it's it's awesome i got three of them for a super stupid price meaning dirt cheap and full of good gas so the other two are right down there Anyhow, yeah, I just thought I'd show you a couple of these cans. They're kind of cool. Let me turn the camera around. Once again, this is my uh, my 45 Ford GPW project. And you can see all the primed parts, and there's some fresh green parts in there that are all new and replacement and whatever. Um, but I'm collecting all my nuts and berries, and we will get this thing rebuilt one day. But anyhow, yeah, so I got these jerry cans, and of course, you know, that's what the British called the uh, the Germans, right? Pretty sure they called them jerrys. Uh, they actually took these cans back in the day, and the British copied them and had their own version of that style of can. Um, they learned a lot of things back in the day. I'm not going to give you a huge history lesson because I don't know it all. But some of the obvious reasons, three handles, right? One person can carry the jerry can or two people. Um, and you'll notice that all the different versions are set up that way. Now the two in the back are water cans and they are U.S. production. This one here, you can notice how this is kind of caved in and we've got embossment in here. And I think this one says it is a 1942 U.S. And what's interesting here, it's got a relief valve. Okay, this one is from... 1950, okay, Nesco, see the W up there? When you crack these open, you'll notice that they have a different kind of lining on the inside, all right? And uh, yeah, these are just display pieces. <laughs> but there are some slight differences in the, in the design. The lids are a little bit different. Um, even the, uh, let's see, this one doesn't have any U.S. markings left or right. This one does on the bottom. Okay, on both sides. This one here from uh, the 60s. You know, we got the G, we got the U.S. U.S. and G. And somewhere I've got one with quarter master core on it. But I don't know where that is. I found the other one. Um, yeah, you can see here that the embossing is USA, all right, with the dots. And we've got the uh, the QMC stamp on the bottom side. Now, on the bottom of these US jerry cans, you can see the manufacturing dates. Okay, who the who made them? Uh, the year. Look, here we go. What's that? May twenty fifty one. Check out the bottom of this one. I'm assuming that's United States Marine Corps, but could mean something else. Uh, 1968. 520-51. That's interesting. 520-60. Let's wait a second now. Let's just... Nothing on the bottom of the water cans because they're embossed on the top. Anyways, I told you I'm not an expert, but uh, my buddy, Ed Smiley, he could probably tell you a lot about these things. Anyway, let's get downstairs and look at the 16th scale uh, jerry cans that uh, we have coming up for sale that you guys just might be interested in. So why am I hung up about jerry cans? I don't know. I got on this jerry can kick like two weeks ago. I was looking at my RC tanks and getting frustrated when I opened up the Tongdae M60A3, I noticed this was the jerry can they, they put in there. Just a stupid looking, ill-fitting jerry can, which is kind of supposed to mimic a, a NATO can. Um, 
which is still not that good. And I struggle with that. Um, in fact, I have I have issues, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so that's for the Tong Day. All right. Then you look at the uh, the Tong Day um, Centurion, and they're getting a little bit closer. They have a you know this type of a NATO can, but you know there's no there's no cap on it. It's incomplete on the back, so it just looks boxy and weird. And you know the British, they um, they I don't know if they do today, but they kind of copied the the German can design and and duplicated that themselves. And then and the other problem is with the uh, the Tong Day cans is. You got to glue the stuff on because the stuff doesn't snap on. And then when you get it on there, it just doesn't look, it just don't look right, man, like a scale or something. So then I got to looking at my, uh, I got to looking at my hang long tanks. So I have the Walker Bulldog, which would be this one. And Walker Bulldog, a little bit closer. Okay. Still plug and play, right? Um, Sharp edges, some of the details aren't accurate, but it's a good 10-footer. Yeah, okay, whatever. And then we have the, uh, what did this come up? The Snow Leopard. This time, the Snow Leopard has a full jerry can with indents. No U.S. markings, no QMC, no nothing. No third handle and a very basic lid. But they got closer. Well... I got a hold of a friend of mine next door, Chris Starner, and he is a modeler as well. He's also a resin 3D printer. So we got together. Check this out. So I decided to um, try to figure out a way to come up with a better jerry can for my 1 16th scale vehicles. And I was like, oh man, what am I going to do? So I started looking online and you know, there's some you can go on to eBay and they got metal ones for like 12 bucks, right? But they are still missing so many details. And I'm telling you, the devil is in the details when it comes to these things. If you really want to accurize your vehicles, um, you know, you're not going to go for that. So I looked at that and then there was another, there was some other guys out there that were doing 3D prints. I think that's the, the filament type prints of jerry cans but you could see all the filament lines you could uh um uh, it, it just it just looked like crap and so and those were going for like uh i don't know six or seven bucks a piece um maybe they even selling as a set so i didn't like that idea well then i started looking around and see well is there a company out there that makes a 16th scale um jerry can set and there is it is classy hobby which they have these these kits here, right? So they come with the drums. They have the uh, German set, and they've got a U.S. set. I think there's only one place in the United States that sells these things. Other, otherwise, you gotta, uh, you know, order order them from, uh, you know, England or China or something like that. I'm like, oh god, you know, when I want to do something, I want to get it done now. I don't have time to wait. Now, I did get these kits in, and they're not bad. I mean, they're, you know, they're, you have to assemble the jerry cans. And they have, uh, also, they do come with the lids for water version of the jerry can, like I have upstairs. Well, then I was looking, I'm like, well. <laughs> I've got a half trick. Hang on a minute. So then I remembered, well, crap, I got a bunch of 16th scale tanks and different things. And I noticed the half track had a bunch of jerry cans in it when I was going through it one time. So I opened up the box and uh, here's what I found. I found more jerry cans. Okay. These are, uh, they look a little bit better. But they got US on both sides. So there's no, you know, quartermaster core markings on there. Um, some of the, the lines, like the thickness of the bottom, my part is thick. They, uh, it does come with the, um, you know, here are the tops and then you've got the, the water, the water can lid and then the regular jerry can lid and of course the three handles. So I'm like, Ooh, we're almost cooking with oil. I mean, a guy could essentially take this 
and make a silicone mold or build them up and make a silicone mold and create a zone. That's a lot of freaking work. So what are we doing? Now let me turn the camera around. This is my solution right here. Now, these are just very fast, rough painted jerry cans just so you can kind of see the details that are in there. Um, under normal circumstances, I would have airbrushed these and done a proper job and dry brush and maybe do a little paint chipping and stuff. But you get the idea here. These jerry cans at 1 16th scale, in my opinion, are hyper detailed compared to, uh, compared to what you can get. Um, even the uh, that, can I zoom in? Oh, I can zoom in. Look at that. Even the craft stuff, 20 liters. Look at that. 1940. Look at that. I didn't even notice that until I put the camera on it. 1940. There, macht. So, uh, same with the U.S. can. Now, these particular prints, um, the, the, the U.S. can has a pretty standard lid on it, but it's not bad. Okay? So, as we, Chris was working on these things and trying to get them refined, and these are little bits, these are a couple of sizes smaller. We were having some print deep problems. I keep saying we. I didn't have the problems. Chris had the problems. But I uh, kept getting these pockets and stuff. So he did some modifications and took care of that. And as a result, we have some beautiful, beautiful jerry cans in 1 16th scale. So... These ugly plastic freaking, I don't know where they came from, bozo garbage. Bye-bye. You are no longer welcome in this household. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we, we've got a whole a full print of, uh, of German cans here. It's amazing uh, the work that his machine can do. And uh, they are, they are, they have a little weight to them. They feel sturdy and strong. And the details are so awesome. I'm going to have to set this down and zoom in. Is that you can notice the the sheet metal cuts and where they would have stamped and folded those handles. Okay? Including the edge up there of the can area. So I'm just saying these are awesome. Now, he even went as far as getting us some, some dented jerry cans. Now, these lids are super detailed. You have the, the bar and chain on there. The cans have been beat up. He, he sent this over. He did, he did a quick paint job on it. And, uh, you know. But how awesome is that to have a beat up jerry can in your diorama? So anyways, we got to talking. And... You know, we're thinking we're going to go ahead and put these on the market. Well, I'm not going to do it. He is. So you're going to have to reach out to Chris if you're interested in a set of these. Um, he prints them both left and right side. The the uh, jerry can, you can see the remnants of the QMC behind the strap. The strap has some shape to it, a little waviness, which is far more accurate. Okay, even how it bows out on the uh, the holder. We also have independent cans that will fit inside of a tray. Oops, I can't see what I'm doing here. Okay, that'll fit inside a tray. And these things here, I mean, you may have a vehicle that you just want an empty tray on it. Now the tray, same thing. Now it doesn't have the four points for mounting, but it's got the slits for the for the uh, uh, for the straps to go through. And I thought that was really cool, cool addition. But anyhow, um, getting back to the vehicle, this looks far nicer than than what's going on, uh, you know, with uh, these other plastic ones. And we come back over to the Walker Bulldog. <clears throat> And you can see the quality difference in the can, the straps, the details, everything. Same with the Sherman. The Sherman got close. They got close, but not close enough in my opinion. You know, and the possibilities of these jerry cans are endless on your display. You know, however you want to put them. Maybe they're laying on their side. I notice on a lot of, a lot of vehicles, they're, 
They're sort of laying on their side, not in this particular position, but <clears throat> maybe along the fender skirts or whatever. But, oh, man, these are awesome. I'm just showing you this first size. <clears throat> Million options, folks. Million options. Okay. I do not sell these, okay? Chris, who is sort of the printing service, does. Now, if you want that set that you see right now, you got a left and a right in a tray with a strap. You've got two plain jerry cans and two trays. Uh, he's looking for $37.99 for the set, Okay. And uh, I, I think compared to what's out there, that's a freaking deal. Only because of the heaviness of it, the, the look of it, the detail. Plus, you got you to gotta know that it ain't cheap to make this stuff. I mean, you got to buy the equipment, the resins. There's maintenance work involved. So I don't blame him for the, for the cost at all. I'd be glad to do that. <clears throat> now, if you want to rack a 16, actually, this, this came as part of the deal. But if you want a full rack of 16, $60 plus shipping, okay? Um, you get to break them off the sprues, though. And they'll just come like that. Okay? Below in the description of the video will be Chris's Instagram page. For now, that's the only way we can get a hold of him. And uh, you can just reach out to him and message him and talk to him. Maybe you uh, would like to come up with a combination of, of jerry cans. Um, but that's it. That's it. And I love these dented ones, man. They are so cool. So I'm pretty ecstatic about this. I mean, I went from, you know, not having a solution to upgrade my tanks to a solution in a, in a short amount of time. And I, I just, I had to talk to the right, right person and find the right information. So yeah, I hope you like the video. Um, I hope you're, I hope you like this. Um, you know, give uh, Chris a shout and work with him on it. Um, but I think you're going to love these, especially all you guys in the 116th community. I, I, it's a no-brainer to me, especially the rack. If you get the rack, you know, I mean, that's you can't get that that quality for that price. So, anyways, yeah, I'll have his I'll have his Instagram information at the bottom, and you know, one. So here's what we're doing. I'm talking to him about this too. We got to get some uh, water cans, okay? And uh, with the proper water can lid. Um, so we'll 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 work on that. But all right, folks, have a good uh, have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching Watson's models, and do me a favor: get up there, and work on your models, tweak them, play with them, look at them, touch them, love on them, drive them. Or just sit around and stare at them. Hey, see ya.